I've recently had a lot of questions about the security settings of the Samsung Galaxy S9. In this video, I'm gonna cover all the things that you can do and how they work. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you, and let's dive right into the security settings. Now, these will be the same on the Samsung Galaxy S9 or the S9 Plus. So let's head right into the settings of the phone. I like to pull down the notification shade and select the gear up here in the top right and that will go into the settings of the phone. And then down here, you see the option for lock screen and security. So we're gonna open that up, and right here at the top, you see the screen lock type. So right now, it is set to swipe. So swipe is where when you go to unlock your phone, all you need to do is swipe the screen, and it will unlock. Now, you have a bunch of different options here. You have the swipe, you have pattern, pin, password and none. Now the password is the highest form of security because you can have all kinds of different characters, a whole phrase, all right within there. And then down here, you have the biometric settings. So we're gonna go back real quick. Here we have phone security and then we have biometrics. And if you wanna learn about lock screen and always on display, I have covered that in a different video and security I'll probably cover in a different video as well. So we're just gonna talk about the top ones here at the very top. So right here is how you change the screen lock type. Let's briefly overview what these do. So swipe allows you to quickly get into your phone with a swipe, there will be no form of security with that. Second is a pattern, so that's a preset pattern that you choose. Pin would be a series of numbers, at least four numbers, and then the password is the highest security because you can actually add multiple characters and you can have phrases, and then none has no security or anything on the lock screen. So if we go to the lock screen, we press the power button, it goes right into the phone. We, there is no swipe required. So let's go back into here and I am going to choose no swipe. And then down here under biometrics, these are the other ways that we could lock our phone. So here we have intelligent scan. Intelligent scan uses the iris scanner or the face unlock to unlock your phone. So it's able to use both of those. It's great, especially if you're trying to use your phone at night and your phone can't see you with the face unlock, Iris Scan will pick up and so it will switch between those two automatically. Here you have the face recognition. So this is one of the faster ways to get into your phone if you're using the biometric because it just needs to look at the shape of your face. And then down here you have the iris scanner. So the iris will actually illuminate an infrared light right here. And over here you have a sensor that will read your iris and can unlock your phone. It's said to be the most secure of the biometrics. And then here you have the fingerprint scanner. So first let's start by adding intelligent scan. So to add intelligent scan, you will need to add a secure lock, so a pin code, a pattern, or a password to verify in case the biometrics don't work. So we're just gonna put a simple pattern on here. So I could go down and up, and then we need to continue, and we need to verify that is the pattern we chose. Once we have done that, now we can go and set up our biometrics. So I'm going to click continue here, and now we are going to register my face. So make sure you are within 20 to 50 centimeters. Once it sees you, it will then register the face. And now we are going to register the iris. So you need to be within 25 to 35 centimeters. Position your eyes in the circle shown on screen. And there we have my iris registered. And here's where you can set up some of the lock screen settings. So once you add a form of security, you can choose to have it hide content on your lock screen. So if you get a text message, it would actually hide what the text actually says. If you select hide content here, you could have it show only the notification icons and you could actually make the color transparent or not right there. So you do have all of those settings right there once you set up the form of security. So here we have a few options. We could remove our iris and our face data if we want to. Here we can use Samsung Pass. So this is a way to save all your passwords on your Samsung account. We could check that. So here we can turn off the intelligent scan. And then this last one is you can have it so it automatically starts scanning for your face as soon as you press the power button. If you turn this off, you will have to swipe your screen first before it's able to scan your iris. This is definitely the fastest way to unlock your phone. So keep that enabled. So let's check out how this works. So now I lock my phone, unlock it, and boom, it went right in because it saw my face. Well, let's say it can't see all of my face. So it couldn't verify my face, but it used the iris that time to go into the phone. 
So whether it can see your face or your iris, it actually goes in really quickly. So now let's go and add the fingerprint scanner. So here we will need to verify the pattern that we have created. And now one of the coolest things about this is it's super easy to add the fingerprint onto the back of the phone. So it's now right under the camera. So all we need to do is swipe down and it will register our fingerprint. So we just place it right here and we swipe down and Usually I can do it in one time and it will add the fingerprint. So here we could add multiple fingerprints if we want. We're just gonna keep it simple and add that one right now. So now it's asking to try it out. And there it unlocked. So here it is asking if you want to turn on the fingerprint to unlock the phone. So even though you swipe to add the fingerprint, you only need to set your fingerprint onto the fingerprint reader for it to unlock the phone. And here we have the fingerprint options where we can add multiple fingerprints, verify with Samsung Pass and Samsung Pay, and then unlock the phone with the fingerprint. So you could have it just on there, but here it is verifying that you wanna use all of those biometrics to unlock your phone. So this will work with the face unlock, with the iris, and with the fingerprint all right there. So if we go back, now let's say we want to unlock the phone. All we need to do is place the finger on the fingerprint reader and there it unlocked the phone. I didn't have to swipe, do anything very quickly. And then you can see that it still is reading my face. No problem. So you have all of those options available at once. Now here you could choose to just have it do the face recognition where it's only gonna look at the shape of your face or here you can choose to have just the iris scanner. So maybe you don't want one of those to be enabled. Here's where you would adjust those settings. Now that we've set up our secure lock and the biometrics, let's talk about a few extra features. So one thing I wanna show you is if for some reason it cannot verify any of those, your fingerprint, your face, your iris, down here at the bottom you can swipe and then you still have the pattern that you can get into. So if you use the pattern or the pin code, you would still have that option. Now let's go into what is called smart lock. So smart lock allows your phone to be locked depending on a location or if you have any accessories attached to your phone or even if you were just moving around, it can detect that. So right here, the first one is on body detection. So this will allow your device to not lock while you are using it and then once you sit it down for a period of time, it will lock the device. Let's go back, here we have trusted places. So let's say you want to add your home as a place where your phone never locks. You can actually add your location and then whenever you're home, it will not automatically lock your phone and then it won't show you the lock screen settings whenever you want to unlock your phone. And here it says that the radius is within 80 meters of the trusted place, so there you could go and add the trusted places. Next we have trusted devices, and this is the one that I typically use the most. So this will work if you have any Bluetooth watch or Bluetooth headset or even a Bluetooth car system, it will automatically unlock your phone when you are paired to one of those devices because typically you would have both of them on you at the same time, and if you disconnect, then it locks your phone again. So here we're gonna add a trusted device, and right now I have the Gear Sport connected to my Galaxy S9. So once I select that, then it asks if you want to add this as a trusted device. And there you can see I have the Gear Sport. So what that means is that I will no longer have to put in my pattern or I would just need to swipe the phone to unlock it right now when I have a trusted device set up. And then the last one here is you have set up voice match. So if I use my OK Google, it will actually unlock the phone with verifying my voice. So if others tried to unlock the phone, it wouldn't be able to hear them. If my phone was unlocked, they could still use that command to talk to Google. But when the phone is locked and I use the command, it would need to verify my voice to be able to unlock the phone. Now that we have smart lock enabled, let's look at the lock screen. So right here, you can see phone is unlocked by smart lock. So that means that when I'm connected to my phone, if anyone is nearby and they see my phone, they could technically unlock it if I was still connected. So that essentially means that if anyone is nearby, let's say my kids grab my phone, it would be unlocked because I'm connected to my watch. So you would just need to decide if you want to use that setting. So now let's go into the secure lock settings. So here we will need to verify our pattern. 
Right here, we have the pattern visibility at the top. So we could turn that off and then you won't see the pattern as I draw it on screen. That adds some security. Here we have the lock automatically. So once your phone is set to lock, you can have it lock instantly or five seconds, 30 minutes. You have all of those options right there. So let's say you set the immediately and then we set the lock instantly with power key. With lock instantly with power key, that means as soon as I press the button, it should lock out the phone. So it would require a biometric or my pattern to unlock the phone. But if you have smart lock enabled that we just did with the watch, it will not enable that. So let me show you. So if I press power right now, and then I go to unlock the phone, it did not require any biometrics or pattern to get into the phone. So let me show you how you can lock it when you have this setting set to this. So if I lock the phone, and then I go to unlock it, if I hold down right here on the X, that will actually enable the lock screen. So now if I go to swipe, it will require a pin code. So that's nice if you quickly leave your phone and you want it to be locked, you can quickly do that. And then you will need to verify biometric or your pattern when you go back into the phone. Right here you have the auto factory reset. So if you have some very secure information on your phone, somebody's trying to get into it, after 15 attempts, it would automatically factory reset your phone. So I personally wouldn't want that checked because my kids would be playing with my phone and then accidentally factory reset. So I'm gonna keep that off. But if you are in need of that, that is where you can adjust it. So this last setting here, lock network and security, that means that it will lock your device to the local network or whatever it is so that if you're trying to locate your device, you'd be able to find it and somebody, whoever has taken it, can't go in and turn off your Wi-Fi easily. So there are all the lock screen settings. So one last cool setting that you can change in the security settings is under the iris scanner. So right here, we can actually go in and adjust the preview screen mask. So this is what shows up when you go to unlock the iris. So you, instead of just having it show your eyes, kind of this creepy grayish video, you can actually choose one of these frames. So let's choose this uh, cyborg guy here. In order to use the screen mask, you will have to turn off intelligent scan, and then you just need to have it use your iris scan to be able to do that. So here we're going to turn on iris unlocked, and then here we could have it instantly unlock when the iris scanner turns on. And there you can see the screen mask pop up. Now there are definitely tons of different options for the security settings on the Samsung Galaxy S9 and will definitely fit your needs to keep it as secure as you would like. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button. And if you can think of anyone else who would benefit from this video, please share this with them. If this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos because I'm gonna teach you all about your smartphone to your smart home. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.